Hi, this is Joseph Anthony of TappingWithMusic.com. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to do a little EFT tapping session, a little active imagination on releasing and transforming financial anxiety. Financial anxiety is something many of us experience at one point in our lives or another, or many points in our lives. And um, we are going to tap on what we need to help us transform those anxieties, or if you want to use the words release, or let go of those anxieties, replace those anxieties with, with things, images that we can really allow to grow in our imaginations, in our hearts and bodies. And one of the images we'll use in this session is that of the sun. It shines its light every moment, every second, on all of us, completely lavish abundant, infinite. Same with the images of, of nature uh, like seeds. I think of a maple tree with those helicopter uh, seeds. You know, the maple tree doesn't just cast off one or two of them. It casts off thousands of them, billions of them. Tadpoles don't just lay two eggs. I mean, frogs don't just lay two eggs. They, they lay thousands of eggs, hundreds of eggs. It's the same everywhere in nature that we go. Oh, we can say, ah, oh, yeah, it's for survival and all that. It's also, I believe, a perfect demonstration of faith in abundance, an image of complete, utter lavishness, the sheer joy of giving into the universe. So we're going to tap those images in and thoughts of abundance and generosity and giving. <clears throat> We're also going to have a little bit of practical stuff thrown in there for good measure. Ideas about making a budget. Things that we can do to help ourselves engender those feelings, not of fear-based scarcity, but of positive actions that we can take towards changing our financial situation. And we're going to begin with our song of giving and receiving that I use in these uh, active imaginations. And if you choose to tap along with me and sing along with me, you are accepting full responsibility for doing so. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> I give, I receive, I am part of the world. I give, I receive, I am part of the world. We begin this act of imagination knowing that in our hearts we know what abundance is. We know what the lavish images of nature are. We know that the sun shines on all things at every moment. We have all seen seeds cast into the wind from a dandelion or a tree. We have all seen the lavish abundance of nature. And we recognize it as abundant because abundance lives within us. We see it, we know it. So we are going to tap in more abundance Tap in those images of abundance right down to the cells of our cells. We're going to transform and let go any anxieties that we may have right here. I tap into my consciousness and awareness of the abundance that is around me. Images of the sun. I see the sun in my heart, in my mind's eye. I breathe the image of the sun into my whole consciousness. That the sun shines its light on all things completely and utterly lavish, complete, infinite abundance. 
So I transform any anxieties right here and right now into faith, into abundance, into thoughts of lavish giving. Nature shows us how abundant the Creator is. So many blossoms, so many seeds, so many eggs, completely and utterly wildly lavish. And I tap those images of abundance right down to the cells of my cells. I tap into my being the ability to breathe. To breathe in lavish abundance. To breathe in wild infinite energy. That's all money is. It's, a, it's an energy of circulation. And I choose to open the channels of that circulation to both give and receive. I choose to tap in new ideas of how I can attract, manifest, create whatever it is I want, money, whatever it is I need to pay the bills, to do what I want, to do what I love, to do what I need. I take practical steps if I need to make a budget I will. I need to eat a pita butter and jelly sandwich instead of going to the restaurants every day during my lunch break. I will. Not out of fear or scarcity, but out of a demonstration of the discipline of being conscious with my money. If I need help figuring out a budget, I can ask for help. I tap into the very cells of my cells, my heart of hearts, the knowledge, the truth, that one of the best ways, the most surefire ways, an infinite law, one of the best ways to receive is to give. So. I choose to tithe, I choose to give, in one way, shape, or form, of my finances, of my time. It's okay to know that I will receive once I give. Yeah, that's all good. It's just a demonstration of a law. As I sow, so shall I reap. So I choose to innovate, invent, utilize my gifts and talents. I choose to know it is no accident. The story in the Old Testament about the people burying their talents. And we use the word today to mean our gifts. To draw, to sing, to write, to dance to see things, to do whatever it is we want, those talents. I choose in this moment to cultivate those talents, to invent and to discover. I choose to transform any victim consciousness, any scarcity, scarcity consciousness, into images and thoughts of abundance of the sun, of seeds. And I tap in new ideas of taking practical steps towards balancing a budget, towards being conscious of how I spend my money. 
out of faith, out of consciousness. I choose to know that money is simply a means of exchange. It is an energy form, a circulation. And I choose to open up my mind to new ideas of how to keep that circulation going. To open up my heart to feel and desire new ways to keep that circulation going. To do what I love. To do what I can to help others. To think of tithing, to think of using my gifts. The sun shines within me, lavish and abundant. I hold the seeds of all abundance within my very heart, mind, and soul, within my very body. And I choose to work and live and move from those images. Ah, and if the worries come, I tap in more sun energy, more images of seeds and abundance. The real energy is faith, taking positive efforts towards changing my own circumstances to empower myself to do what I can, to do what I love. So right here and right now, I choose to both give and receive. I choose to walk with images of abundance in my heart. Found that helpful and liberating and you can always tap in those images at any moment of any day at any time and if you need any other thoughts or ideas mentoring or want to have an EFT session with me in person or via Skype feel free to go to tappingwithmusic.com drop me a line be happy to help in any way I can so this is Joseph Anthony of tappingwithmusic.com saying thank you so much for watching. I release my worries. I release all of my cares. I release